So I am uh, Stephen Toulouse, and I'm going to admit just right up front that uh, I'm, I'm just not going to be as funny as Mike Furman. I'm just going to get that. <laughs> get that up. Don't feel bad for me, though, because um, earlier in the evening, I knocked over a music stand backstage, and the sound of that actually beat Paul and Storm in the Masters of Sung Fu. <laughs> For those of you who, who don't know, uh, Xbox Live is the uh, online service that allows for multiplayer gaming on the Xbox console. And we just announced at CES uh, yesterday that we now have 30 million members on Xbox Live, which is a lot of people. Now the good news is, is that most of them are like you and me. You know, they're playing right now as we're on this cruise. People are online, they're playing and having fun. Uh, most of them, like I said, are like you and me. They're, they're having fun, obeying Wheaton's law, right? Woo! Some of them are assholes. <laughs> and that's actually where my team comes in. So Microsoft actually invests in a team of people who police the service. We actually go out and look for bad behavior, we listen to complaints, we do a bunch of different things. And we thought it would be kind of cool for me to come up and kind of walk you guys through uh, sort of what that entails on this service. Like, how do you police that? What What is sort of the taxonomy of douchebags on, <laughs> on Xbox Live? And, and of course, being a Microsoft employee, uh, the only way that I am able to relate any form of story is in the form of a PowerPoint. <laughs> You know, 90 minutes or so. <laughs> um, and we thought we'd just walk you through a, a little bit of sort of the breakdown of what bad people sort of do uh, on the service. Uh, so let's start with the simplest slide. <laughs> I'll walk you through it. It, it looks complex, but it's actually it, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, let me let me break it down for you. <laughs> I know it's a little bit difficult to figure out sort of the relation between, you know, drunken frat boys and Team Leno. Uh, you know, I'm starting to realize this PowerPoint may not be the best way to sort of tell you this. Um, it probably was a bad decision to, to kind of go this route. Uh, as, as they mentioned, I was kind of rushed. Um, if only there was some some other metaphor or some other way for me to um, to communicate this to you. Some something that would sort of sort of bring us all together in a form of like a congregation or uh, gosh, I just I can't think of anything off the top of my head that would really work. <laughs> Disciples of the Brotherhood of Steptoe, <laughs> please bring me a podium.
Try getting this through airport security. <laughs> I wish to tell you this evening a cautionary tale. The tale of enforcement, the act of miscreant on our service, so that you too can learn the lesson of Wheaton's commandment. Be thou not a dick. <laughs> and it came to pass that the user did sign up for Xbox Live. And it was good. And the service smiled upon the user and did ask, By what name shalt thou be known? But a shadow passed over the user's soul. And he was tempted. And he did indulge this temptation and entered a name unfit for the eyes of others. <laughs> and the service spake forth saying, thy gamer tag is not appropriate. But my children, the service was kind and forgiving and bade the user, please try another. <laughs> However, the user had hardened their heart and did carefully shroud the new name in trickery. <laughs> and it came to pass that O's became zeros. <laughs> the letter T became as a plus sign. <laughs> Falsely clothed in their new finery, the user fooled the service, and being so fooled, the service did bid the user welcome with the customary ancient incantation, Poon Hunter has signed into Xbox Live. <laughs> unspeakable acts of evil in their profile. The soul of those who looked upon the gaping maw of their biography field were rent asunder, left as small and twitchy as a beaten purse dog. <laughs> <laughs> and Poon Hunter did travel to the battlefields of 1943, where he intended to darken the hearts of his brethren. On the highest point of Wake Island, he preached his dark fellowship aloud to his teammates, and Poon Hunter's words became as stones. Verily, Poon Hunter intoned in great detail the false histories of his teammates' lineage. <laughs> they bore false witness to the tendencies of the very wombs that begat them. <laughs> To lie with all manner of creatures, two-legged, four-legged, eight-legged, even the very crops of the earth. And Poon Hunter did take the last plane on the carrier, and then did use that plane to try and knock the teammates from the ship with the plane's wings. And in their dark blasphemy, Poon Hunter proclaimed his team's habits of routine, routinely spilling their seed upon the ground. <laughs> and the team did cry out in anguish to the sky, saying, why? Why is this douchebag on our team? <laughs> dark work had been noticed. And he did turn on his Xbox Live Vision camera, and with malice in his soul he did proceed to broadcast his iniquity to other users. <laughs> Players were exposed to such atrocities as the flaccid all-in, <laughs> the turgid draw four, and on at least one occasion, the dreaded, the feared, helicopter. <laughs> and a great cry again came up from the users, saying, why? Why would anyone do this? <laughs> did file complaints, and the service heard. A light shone in the void, and it blew over the game like a cool breeze and said, time to regulate. <laughs> and it came to pass that the service archangel swooped down, and Boon Hunter's mouth was suddenly silenced. 
His words felt as inconsequential as a forgotten gas receipt at the pump. <laughs> his video was blocked, his console banned, and upon his exposed bits and stuff <laughs> and things was a lightning bolt delivered. And the Archangels did smite the user with such a force that the shockwave reached the other players. A shockwave that explained itself as simply as it was effective. Poon Hunter has left the game. <laughs> and on the other end of that judgment, there was a wailing and gnashing of teeth. And the service looked upon the fires of the work and smiled. And it was good. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Yeah.